<sighs> Dang, it's been a while. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Alright guys, what's up everyone? I do have a script that I was going to actually use for this video, but I actually found something out personally that happened within my family. And because of that, I'm really just going to speak more from the heart than from a script that I had ready to talk to you guys about this. If you're watching this video, by this time or this day, I think it's March 23rd right now where I'm filming this, uh, the coronavirus has spread a lot throughout the world. And I really want to talk about how the coronavirus has really affected my life. Yes, as a person, but also as a developer as well. Now, there are a lot of crazy things happening in this world right now because of this. Like, people are getting laid off here and there, the economy is going down the drain. But I will honestly say that more than anything, I am very thankful I'm at where I'm at now. <laughs> that I'm in the position I'm in at this moment. Because when I think of it now, there's so many people who can't go to work right now. There's so many people who have work, who have a job that requires them to be at the actual building, but because they can't be at that building, they can't work, meaning they don't get paid. And before I go into more details, like for me personally, before I became a developer, guys, I was working for an AVX company where I work with conferences all around the world. But look at it now, there are no conferences going around. And if there were no conferences, guess what? I don't have a job. And if I had to work for that company, I'd have to be at the office as well. But because I'm at the company I'm at right now, as a developer, I could say that I'm a full-time remote developer now. I remember just talking to my colleagues about, man, we might have to work from home soon because if this gets really bad, we can't even come into the office. And lo and behold, literally two weeks after having a conversation with all my colleagues, we're working from home. And what's interesting too is that um, I was talking to my boss the other day, asking about the situation. And um, when we had a conversation too, like he was talking about how he can really see this becoming permanent, which is crazy. As a, a human being and as a new dog owner and with my parents being older and etc., I've always wanted to be someone who could work from home, right? I've always wanted to be someone who could work from home, uh, especially take care of my dog and just, it's just less stressful to have more time and have my own hours when I could work on things and take care of things, personal things when I need to without it affecting anything at work. And it happened. And I always thought this would happen a new job. The fact that this is happening now and the fact that because we're all working from home in my, at my company for entrepreneur.com, I mean, there's a, p a potential that this could be permanent seeing how, why rent an expensive building in California or in New York or whatever when we can just all work remote and be just as productive. But to be honest, I'm, I, I'm clearly seeing that we can, and at least I am being more productive now that I work from home, man. So I'm a full-time remote developer, and potentially this can become permanent, which is insane. I love it, man. And what's interesting too is that now that I've been working from home for at least a week and a half now, one thing I've noticed is yes, I'm more productive, but like now I feel like I have even more time towards the end of the day because on my lunch break, I don't take a 20 minute lunch to drive home to visit my dog anymore. And when I'm working, I could do my laundry and when I'm stressed out or when I can't figure out a bug right away, I'm just gonna clean my house because that's what that's what relieves my stress. I love cleaning so much. I could do that all during work. And by the time I'm done by five or six o'clock, I have so much more free time towards the end of the day, which is freaking amazing, man. Working from home has been, I, I can also say life changing, right? Well, one of the, but some of the challenges though, for sure, for me, um, you know, working from home now, is the fact that I have to get a routine to make sure I'm ready to work right away. But there's a routine that I have where, still, all right, I, I'm a guy, okay, but now, like, to get me ready, I'll take a shower every morning, okay? All right, I, this is just, all right, it's a fact. I'll take a shower every morning, right, when I wake up. Um, fix my hair, even if I don't need to, I'll dress up, I'll wear like this sweater, like I do like every day. I'll wear jeans, not shorts, and just wear work clothes, and then start working from home. Because like, that kind of gets me in the, in, in, in that, you know, it gets me focused to get the work done. And it just helps me a lot. So I kind of have that routine. And even before that, I walk my dog in the morning, every morning now, rather than rushing to work, which is amazing. I love it, man. So yeah, I'm a full-time remote developer. But on a, Side note as well, how the coronavirus is affecting me though. Um, I didn't get tested for it, I almost did, but I generally believe that I had it because I had a really, uh, this was last week, I had a really bad cough. It was getting bad, it was a dry cough, it was getting pretty bad. Um, I was coughing, um, 
a really bad cold, and I actually had a really hard time breathing for like five days straight. And on, on the fourth day, on the fourth day, I was actually really worried. Like, like I was talking to my mom, my mom was panicking, like, Chris, you need to go to the hospital. I don't care how much it'll cost. Because I was thinking, like, it's going to cost me like $30,000 if I really have it, right? It was stupid to think at that time. Uh, really dumb for me to think at that time. But that was honestly, it, it, was, it was terrifying for me. And I almost went and I just told myself like, one more day. It got really bad that night. And on the fifth day, on the fifth day, oh, thankfully, I was able to breathe again. Thankfully, you know, um, uh, I did, my cough was going away. I, my cold, man, maybe it was allergies, I don't know, was going away too. And that's terrifying. And why does that terrify me even that much more? Because I need to visit my family. Uh, but my parents are old. My mom is like, either she's 60 or over 60 now. My stepdad is up there. They both have pre-existing health conditions where if I did have coronavirus, they would die from it. Well, probably within a week or two, which is terrifying because they're not too healthy right now. But even for me too, I have a very weak immune system as well, which is terrifying. But other than that, man, one thing that I found out literally today and a couple days ago as well, um, my parents lost their jobs. Um, my stepdad um, lost his main job and then he got laid off from his second job, which didn't pay much at all today. He worked for MGM Hotel, which completely shut down. I think now they're trying to sell the company. And he worked for an airport, I'm not gonna say an airport name, um, in Las Vegas and they shut down too. Uh, and it's scary because they have no source of income and they're really, uh, they're really, uh, stressed out and I'm really worried for them. Um, and it sucks because like, I want to help them right away. Uh, fuck, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, um, I don't show this to my, my mom, uh, when she calls me about the stuff about me being pretty sad or like, you know, worrying about them. Cause I try to hide it because my mom stresses out real easy. She has anxiety. Uh, but it's scary for me just to see them going through that right now. Um, and I want to help them. If I can, I want to move there right away. But I have a lease that I can't break right away. And I'm trying to find a way to terminate my lease. <sighs> um, hopefully using this coronavirus situation to help me terminate it when I talk to them um, sometime this week. I'm very thankful to be in the position I am as developer to work remote. And it looks like it might be like this for the next maybe two or three months. And as when I do terminate this lease in my apartment, I'm going to probably stay in Vegas for two or three months until, you know, maybe we have to go back to the office. And for the next two to three months, I'm just going to be in Vegas, literally paying all the bills for my parents, the food. You know, fortunately, I make enough where I can support all three of us, um, pay their mortgage as well, uh, which is still a lot cheaper than my apartment. So when I terminate my lease in this apartment, I'm paying about $2,000 a month, but their mortgage is so much cheaper, almost half of this in Vegas, and I could easily afford that and take care of them too. Uh, and it scares me because my family will lose their health insurance from MGM. Uh, I think they're gonna lose it in June, and that scares me too. And I don't want them to depend on Medicare, so I might pay for my stepdad's health insurance, which is gonna cost like 600 bucks a month, but it's necessary to protect them, you know? Um, and it's scary though. It's also scary for me because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to stay in Vegas permanently while working for my company because it's a different state. So right now I'll just be visiting, right, Vegas for the next couple months until we have to come back to the office since we have to work remote anyway and see how that works. And it sucks, man. It's affecting me hard, big time. It's affecting my family. I never want them to suffer. And to be honest, this is literally the reason I became a developer. I did not think of myself, but I really wanted to think of my family because my family has been struggling for the last, to be honest, 10 years, ever since they lost their business. And I wanted to be in a position where if they were really in a hard position like now, with my income and with my career, I can support them. And I can't because I'm a developer now. And so this is how it's affecting me, man. Yes, I'm a full-time remote developer. And thankfully I am. So now I can go to Vegas and help them for a few months until I have to come back to California. Hopefully I can stay there. I am worried about my job too. I think everyone is, but you know, you, you just have to keep moving forward either way, man. So yeah, that's my story. I'll be filming a new day in the life of a remote developer as well this week. So I hope you guys keep an eye out for that. Um, but I'll be heading out. This is it. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Dang, I did not go with my script at all whatsoever.
How long is this video? Crap, 15 minutes? All right, I gotta go, guys. See you later. Thank you for watching. This is Chris Sean. This is the life of a web developer, and I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, so I am filming right now. Here is like my camera, my huge light, my extra lighting, and my dog who always has to sit right next to me. Why can't you give me any space, bro? Why can't you give me space?